Don't need to listen to ads, even at the discounted student rate, when we are in debt and can't afford that. What, Spotify? No, dude. What do you mean? It's 10 bucks a month. It's really all right. You know what's not all right? What? $75,000 of student loan debt. So I've mentioned before that I grew up in poverty. I was first-generation American, first in my family to go to college. And when I graduated, I had an unimaginable amount of debt and no idea how to get rid of it. So I listened to guys like this that were like, you know, you got to cut out all the little things. So I did. I got the cheapest internet I could find, the cheapest phone service I could find, used everything till it was falling apart. Even my thrift store clothes looked bad because I was just keeping them going as long as possible at holes in my shoes. I was cutting my own hair, right? I did almost nothing extra, right? Most of my diet was ramen. And after years of doing this, right? Years of cutting out every single bit of joy that I could find because I couldn't justify it, right? I couldn't justify spending that money knowing that I had a chance to be the first in my family to get out of poverty. And I was always very careful not to miss a single payment on my income-driven repayment plan, on my student loans. And I remember checking the balance after doing this for too long and seeing that it had gone up. I was more in debt. Fast forward 10 more years, and I am actually almost out of debt now. Not yet, but I'm close. And it happened because I started making a lot more money. That's it. That's the solution, right? Because we're not talking about $1,000 in debt here. We're talking about massive student loan debt, massive credit card debt. The way you get out of that is by earning more money. Now, that's not an easy solution because there are systemic barriers that are there that keep people from being able to make more money, that make being poor more expensive than being wealthy. But that's that's how you the do it. The death by a thousand cuts idea right? That it's this Spotify with no ads and Netflix that is the reason why you're poor. People bring up that and push that idea because then you can blame poor people for being poor. Then it's their own fault. It's not systemic because you got avocados. Sure, if you're subscribed to like 50 different services and you're buying designer clothing and you're eating out every single meal, then yeah, that's going to affect your budget. Right, but for the vast majority of people, giving up Spotify without ads, giving up Netflix, giving up the occasional avocado toast is not going to be the thing that gets you out of debt.